Black walnut. Uh, you know, black walnut is one of our native nut trees. Um, and, well, this is maybe not the best example because has anybody noticed that there's two trees growing together? Uh, which is kind of cool, right? These two trees are dancing. Um, and, they're, and actually, this is actually maybe perfect because we can talk about two different edible species, right? So we have the black walnut, which um, is a great nut. Uh, how many people have tasted black walnuts, right? Pain in the butt to crack and get into and process. So it's not one of those, you know, crops that I'm going to say, hey, definitely plant a black walnut, you know, like what a great nut, you know, because it is a great nut, but, but it's not the most convenient to process. And most of us are a little too busy to, to spend all day as, as my buddy Ethan and I did many years ago in college, spent, you know, half a day in the woods just like breaking walnuts with rocks. And, and it was wonderful, but, you know, that was the only time we ever did that. <laughs> so um, one thing to know about black walnuts in the landscape, and so that's what I'm going to try to do is integrate as much of the landscaping piece into this as possible. Um, one thing to know about black walnuts is that they secrete a compound from the roots called juglone. Right, and that's very specific to uh, black walnuts, and it's an evolutionary adaptation, uh, adaptation that um, that basically suppresses competition around it. So you probably have heard the story that you know someone will plant a garden and it's not doing well, and they find out it's right next to a black walnut, and the black walnut is is basically not allowing the plants to thrive in that same way. There are a lot of really great edible plants that will grow near black walnut, but they're probably ones that you don't know of. So if you do have a black walnut in your yard or in a space that you want to grow, do some research on what can grow near black walnut or you're going to be pretty disappointed by <laughs> what you're growing. The tree above it, anybody know what that is? Hackberry. hackberry. So hackberry is by, considered by a lot of people a trash tree or a weed tree. Um, why? Because the fruits are incredibly tasty, the, the birds love them, and they poop all the seeds out and they grow up. And one reason they grow so well is because they can tolerate compacted soil and polluted air. So that's why they're all around the city, right? Um, they are weak trees, and that's why a lot of times people take them out because you'll see the branches just falling. And, and I totally <laughs> am in favor of taking the tree out if it looks like it's gonna destroy your house. But one thing that's cool to know about them is that the berries are really tasty. Um, it tastes like a mix of a, like a, a fig apricot preserve or something, something pretty crazy. Um, but they're really, really good. Now, the amount of fruit that you get, you know, the, the seed is pretty big. So, I mean, you're basically going, mmm, that was good. And then you throw the seed out, right? Um, but there are some European varieties of hackberry that have really nice big berries. Um, so I'm hoping to one day grow some of those out and see if those are maybe a, a valuable crop for this area. Um, so, there we go.